Apple's decision to charge a 27% fee on all in-app purchases made through external payment platforms faced pushback from developers, including Epic Games' Tim Sweeney, on Tuesday, hours after the iPhone maker was effectively forced to update its App Store policies after the Supreme Court refused to consider an appeal from the company. According to Sweeney, Apple still exerts significant control over how external payment links appear on the apps, which must be separated out into a different section of the app, away from places where users actually buy stuff. Sweeney also criticized Apple's disclaimer for users choosing an external payment option, calling it a scare screen. Users who choose an external payment method are greeted with a message saying, you're about to leave the app and go to an external website. Apple is not responsible for the privacy or security of purchases made on the web. The Coalition for App Fairness, a group of app developers including Epic Games, Spotify, Massimo and several others, derided Apple's move. The group's executive director Rick Van Meter said, these changes do nothing to enhance consumer choice, lower prices for in-app purchases or inject competition into Apple's walled garden. It is precisely this type of abusive, monopolistic behavior that makes it imperative for Congress to pass the Open App Markets Act. John Gruber, the author of the prominent Apple blog, Daring Fireball, argued that Apple views the 30% cut not as a processing fee, but rather a commission it charges developers for using its intellectual property, in this case the iOS ecosystem. Therefore, he argued that the new external payment option simply offloads the 3% that developers need to pay for handling, actual payment processing, while keeping them on the hook for the platform commission. Supreme Court denies review of Apple and Epic Games antitrust appeals, Forbes.